Hey, what's up guys? It's Ray Jess bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay here. We're going to be playing some Domination today. But this commentary is really not going to be about the gameplay too much. Uh, I just wanted to mention first that the, the first minute or so is going to be a little bit laggy looking. It's because I've had uh, some major connection issues lately. Um, I've had trouble getting into games where I'm not playing at one or two bars the entire time. So it's made it kind of hard to get good gameplay. But this still turned out pretty well and I thought it was a good game because I'm running some unusual kill streaks. But what I really wanted to talk about is uh, I've seen a lot of people do videos where they kind of talk about uh, the guns in Modern Warfare 3 in the real world. Uh, I know Wings of Redemption's done his Rifleman Creed uh, series where he kind of goes over the history of the guns and the importance. And I thought it would be interesting to, uh, to do that, but to talk about um, kill streaks because uh, it's nothing it's something I've never seen anyone do and there's a lot of the kill streaks have really kind of interesting history behind them and what they are is is just interesting in general and that's why the the first one I wanted to talk about today is going to be the EMP uh, just because this is something that we all kind of know what it is but it it's never been used and there's not much um, you know like I said it's never been used in combat so there's not a lot of stories you can tell with it but if um, it it definitely has an interesting history because you think um, after the test in 45 when they um, created the first nuclear weapons and right after that used them on Japan in Hiroshima and Nagasaki you would think it would have come uh, become known that the EMP effect was there the the nuclear scientists knew that this effect was happening but no one really did because there wasn't much of Japan that was affected by this and that's because um, they detonated the bombs so low because their their intent was to actually destroy the cities with these bombs. And the way EMPs work is you actually have to detonate them at a very, very high altitude to create this EMP effect over a large area. And um, the nuclear devices still created. They're going to create an EMP at any, um, at any height, obviously, but it, it's just not going to cover a, a large enough area to really be noticed. So, um... When they talk about an EMP in this game, I'm sure they're talking about what's in military terms referred to as an HEMP, which is a high altitude electromagnetic pulse. And what this is, is um, when they're, they're going to detonate it, the nuclear device at 200 to 500 miles above the Earth's surface. And um, the, the weird history behind the EMP is, uh, like I said, it's never been used in combat, but... Um, in the 60s, we were doing all kinds of um, experiments on nuclear devices, kind of blowing them up underground, blowing them up over water, seeing seeing how effective they were. Uh, when I say us, I mean the U.S. And Russia was also doing these kind of experiments as well. And what we ended up deciding was uh, we needed to test um, high-altitude things, because uh, high-altitude detonations, because the scientists thought it would create this EMP effect, and they weren't sure how how much of a threat it was and how big of an area you were talking about um, destroying almost. And so they started what was called the fishbowl experiments, which is, uh, and I promise you, all this is, is true. Um, so in the 60s, uh, America decided to do these fishbowl experiments, like I said. And basically what this was is we were just going to take Thor rockets, which are uh, rockets that were kind of used to launch uh, low orbit, orbit satellites and such, and we were going to use these to launch nuclear devices into space basically and blow them up in our atmosphere kind of to see what would happen which which sounds insane so I thought this you know I kinda of had to check to make sure it was all true but it, it is so the first successful test was called Starfish Prime if um, if you've ever heard of this you know it's 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 semi well known but you, you kinda of have to dig through the history um, to find it because it's not a very commonly spoken of but what this was was the first test was they used a 1.4 megaton bomb and launched it above the ocean um, and detonated it 250 miles above the Earth's surface. And they ended up knocking out power in a lot of Hawaii and Honolulu because um, they didn't realize how effective it was going to be. And um, they knocked out a whole bunch of street lights and some radar equipment and all kinds of stuff in Hawaii, which was 900 miles away. So this 1.4 megaton bomb, which if you don't know what a megaton is, a megaton is 1 million tons of TNT, like the equivalent of the explosive force of 1 million tons of TNT. If you don't know what a ton is, a ton is 2,200 pounds. So this is just a massive, massive explosion. You're talking about if this was detonated 
above a city, near a city, like at low altitude, you're talking about destroying an entire city. This is about a hundred times more powerful than the Hiroshima or Nagasaki bombs were. Um, so just a massive bomb, and even um, it's it's huge. But uh, even now, our high, our largest bombs go up to like 25 megatons, and the largest bomb ever tested was 50 megatons, which is like I said, just massive. But um, when it comes to the EMP, just with a 1.4 megaton bomb, they were able to knock out 800 miles of of power if it had been over, you know, not the ocean where they tested it. So um, just for some perspective, if you were to do that over the United States, just say like right in the middle, somewhere around Colorado or something, you would knock out all the power in America except for the the far, far edges like California and the New York kind of area. So um, if, if you were to detonate it higher than the 250 miles that they did, uh, if you were to detonate it around 400 miles, you would knock out the entire, entire continental United States in one instant, which is kind of crazy to talk about. You know, a nuclear device can destroy a city, but an EMP can knock out basically the entire electrical grid for an entire country. Or if you're talking about Europe, you're talking about wiping it out for the entire continent at once. So it's definitely um, uh, a very, very dangerous weapon to have. So, like I said, America had this great idea, let's blow up nukes in space, So, th and even after they tested the first one, they're like, oh, holy crap, um, that was a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be, so they're like, we need to do more exper experiments to figure out how, how big it needs to be and how high up and the effects that it's going to have uh, for, you know, scientific reasons. But um, they went on and they did what was called the kingfish test, they also did the bluegill test, and uh, one test was uh, not considered a high altitude, but it was kind of in between. It was detonated like at something like 200 miles above the Earth's surface, and it was um, the uh, checkmate test. And um, after that, scientists kind of concluded that okay, we have enough information. We can uh, determine how big, you know. Uh, they had all the parameters for their stuff that they needed. So that was kind of the end of those tests. But uh, we did those tests, and Russia did tests, launching and blowing up nukes in space and discovering this EMP effect. And uh, we ended up creating what's called the, the radiation uh, um, the radiation belt around the, uh, around the world. And this is basically because all the nuclear devices that were blown up in the atmosphere, we put a bunch of uh, radioactive isotopes and radioactive debris in orbit around the Earth. And this ends up destroying, um, and I, I kid you not, it destroys one-third of all low-orbit satellites in, around the Earth. And it still messes with stuff today because that radiation belt hasn't completely disappeared. But like I said, this was just the beginning to a new series. I thought the EMP was kind of a crazy story about how America just blew up nukes in space. And if you like this, please leave a comment below telling me which one you'd like to see in my next video. Uh, please thumbs up the video. If you like my videos and want to see something else, uh, please subscribe. I'll put a button here. Y'all have a good one.